Using the same principle as for all other libraries, drag and drop your electrotechnical components on the sheet and connect them. We will build a simple three-phase motor circuit to demonstrate various tools used in the electrotechnical module. If you drag a component onto the sheet, that requires a tag name. The software will automatically open the tag name window. By holding the control key on the keyboard, while dragging the component elsewhere, you will create a copy. Instead of creating one line at a time, you can select the polyphase wire tool to make multiple connections at once. If the polyphase wire tool doesn't have the right number of lines, access the electrotechnical menu and select the polyphase wire configuration to change setup. Click on one port to start wire and click on the other component's port to make connection. To make line connections, click on the first connection port, bring the wire to the line and double click. Connections will be made automatically. Since we want a forward and reverse motor, we need to invert two phases by changing two wires. Click on the line, hold the shift key on the keyboard while you left click on the end of the wire and drag it to the desired wire. We will now build the command circuit. Use a toggle switch for start-stop. Get your AC contactors for forward and reverse. You may change the thickness and type of lines by clicking on these icons.
double-click on the contactor poles and link them to their respective forward and reverse AC contactor. Once the tag names are in blue, the hyperlinks and connections are made. Since the primary voltage is 208, change it in the transformer's technical data. To monitor the current, insert an ammeter in the line. Notice the RPMs on the motor. The negative sign indicates reverse direction. By left-clicking on the motor during simulation, you can increase or decrease the load. You can demonstrate the increase of amperage created by the external load. The amperage has surpassed the rated current of the fuses. You can also use the dynamic measuring instruments during the simulation to monitor more parameters. See Electrotechnical Dynamic Tools video.